What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to show you guys my collection of shotguns in the game but before we get into it can I just say if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy daily Destiny content be sure to subscribe and if you could help this video out for a like I do appreciate the support now I've had so many requests on Twitter, Facebook, on YouTube you guys asking me to show you guys my collection of weapons now I've actually got two players full to the T of weapons and the video will just take so long my vault's full of weapons too and the video will just take too too long to go through them all so i thought i'd, I'd actually um separate them into actual categories of weapon class so we've got shotguns i'm gonna do then i'm gonna do auto rifles pulse rifles fusion rifles snipers etc etc but today we're gonna start with shotguns now i have actually quite a few well not quite a few i think i have seven seven ones i've had more but i keep dismantling them because i'm only gonna use and keep the ones i really like and we're gonna start with the invisible hand m7 which is an absolute tank you guys may have just seen my recent review of this weapon the weapon is an absolute beast i believe you buy it from the crucible quartermaster um, but going through its mods and well the version I've got mods I know because if you rewarded this weapon mods can differ so we have linear compensator uh, we have CQB ballistics and we have soft ballistics grenade deer uh, one of five damage upgrades we have uh, field scout I always think that's perfect balance for some reason then we have hammer forge and we have lightweight and then we have crowd control and a further four damage upgrades now this is by far my favourite shotgun to use at the moment, without a shadow of a doubt. Then we have the Infective Shotgun. Now you get this from an exotic bounty. Can't really remember what it is. I'm sure someone will help you out down below in that comment section. But even so, this is a beast of a weapon. I've actually had this twice. This first one I leveled up and I accidentally dismantled it. I don't know how I did it, but I did. So I went and I grinded my ass off doing them bounties hoping I'll get that bounty to come back and it did and I got it and I haven't used it since I don't know why it's probably because I leveled it once and exotics do take quite a while to level up in this game um, but it is an absolute flip and tank especially in that PvP this weapon is a beast on any scale it really is now it's a uh, full auto this weapon can be fired in full auto mode it's a solar damage weapon uh, actualized ballistics it's got fuel choke it's got linear compensator uh, final round one of five damage upgrades it's got quick draw uh, fitted stock and it's got send it then we have infective this weapon regenerates ammo over time badass badass mod and a further four damage upgrades but what i remember this weapon because uh, i haven't used it in about probably about a month um, the infective is a beast and if you haven't got it and you can get it if you have the bounty and you're just slacking on doing a bounty because it's for a shotgun do the bounty because the infective is a beast without a shadow of that if you get a chance to do an exotic bounty pick the one that does the infective I can't remember what it's called I'll leave it in that video description I'll find out for you guys and I'm sure someone will help you in the comment section anyway moving on we have the fan verdict now this is a beast also um, this is a weapon you get from doing a raid by the way uh, so the only way you're going to be able to get this weapon or being with a chance of getting this weapon is by taking part in the raid um, it's an arc damage weapon we have aggressive ballistics we have accurized ballistics and we have field choke uh, full auto this weapon can be fired in full auto mode which is an unnecessary perk in my opinion with shotguns I mean because the stability on them ain't too bad you're shooting you hold, you hold this for three shots and you're looking at the sky it's as simple as that we have one of five damage upgrades and then we have fitted stock uh, single point sling and we have send it then we have final round the last round in a magazine deals bonus damage we have one of uh, a further four damage upgrades and then we have oracle disruptor this weapon deals bonus damage to oracles in the vault of glass problem is you have to jump to hit him uh, but all in all the fan verdict is a monster of a shotgun one i really enjoy, enjoyed using for quite a while as you can see i've basically leveled it up right to the max i don't use i don't ever uh, apply the last three damage upgrades because i mainly use shotguns for pve pvp sorry and we all know the 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 damage is capped so it doesn't really matter and then we have the judgment now the judgment shotgun is a shotgun i actually well for quite a while i thought it was the best shotgun in the game i was i was, I was using it as the best shotgun in the game i mean it, it just looks you can't say that don't look like an absolute tank look at the front of it, it looks like it's, it shoots cannibals um it's an arc damage weapon linear compensator we have accurized ballistics and we have aggressive aggressive ballistics sorry then we have return to center kills this weapon grant bonus uh, ammo directly into the magazine we have one of five damage upgrades we have quick draw this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast we have aiming this weapon is incredibly fast with snapshot and then we have single point 
point sling. Switch weapons faster, move uh, quicker while aiming. And then we have grenade dia. Kills with this weapon reduce the cooldown of your grenade. And a further four damage upgrades. Now all in all, the judgment is a great shotgun, but I wouldn't pull it on the same level as the fan verdict, the infective, or the invisible hand, but it's definitely one I will be keeping. Um, next up we have the comedian. Now the comedian is just an all round flipping tank. This is a weapon as well as the, the judgment I did use for quite a while and really, really enjoyed it. I mean, I'm definitely not gonna get rid of it because I, I do remember the power of this bad boy and on certain maps as well, I do better with this actual comedian than any other shotgun for some reason. I don't know why, it's just the way it is. It's a void damage weapon. We have linear compensator, we have fuel choke and we have soft ballistics. We then have spray and play. Increases the reload speed of this weapon when the mag is empty. We then have one of five damage upgrades. We have field scale perfect balance and single point sling we then have grenade here uh, kills this weapon reduce the cooldown of your grenade and we have a further four damage upgrades so it's mods ain't that great but it's still a beastly ass shotgun it really is um, I actually had this shotgun twice I had one I brought and one I was rewarded now the one I was rewarded um, it's it does mods do different I'll run you guys through them um, spray and play increases the reload of this weapon when mag is empty I think that's the same one we have quick draw this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast we have snapshot aiming this weapon is incredibly fast and we have lightweight when how this weapon grants plus two character agility and then we have this lock in the chamber one bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage which is a great mod i may actually level up this shotgun just to use in pvp as i do with all my shotguns but all in all it's still a great shotgun i will keep both of them i won't get rid of any of them and the shotgun that's final the crash now the crash is a beast also this is a future war coach shotgun um it's a solar damage uh, weapon uh, we've got linear compensator we've got cqb ballistics and we've got aggressive ballistics we have return to sender we have one of five damage upgrades we have fled magwell we have hammer forge and we have lightweight and then we have a range finder aiming this weapon increases its effective range and this is actually a mod that really does work believe it or not and we have a further four damage upgrades now the crash is a shotgun i do remember using for quite a while but i can't really remember how it performed in pvp because it's been quite a while since i used it um, but I do remember it being a beast of a shotgun, which is why I've kept it. Um, but all in all, guys, this is my collection of shotguns I actually have at the current moment. There's only one I need and really want to use, and it's the Universal Remote, and that's a primary exotic shotgun, which is actually the only exotic weapon in the game as of yet before DLC that I actually need to have a complete collection of exotic weapons. Um, but yeah. But all in all, out of all these bad boys, the one I'd much, much, much prefer to use at this moment in time is the Invisible Hand M7. This is a beastly ass shotgun, one you can buy from the Crucible Quarter Master. And if you guys missed my review of this weapon, I will link it in the video description. I'll show you guys me owning people online PvP with this weapon. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me in that comment section, what is your favorite shotgun to use in this game? Is it one I've got? Is it one I haven't got? Let me know because if I haven't got it, I'll be sure to try and get it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Expect plenty more weapon collections to come. Uh, uh, scat rifles, there's so many I can do. Scat rifles, rocket launchers, snipers, uh, pools. So I've got a, a massive collection of each, so stay tuned for them. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for stopping by, and peace out until next time. Peace!